Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute, Jara Ryder. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. I'm not great with flying, but these little shuttles are the worst. Here's a tip. Don't close your eyes. You'd think that would make it easier, but it only makes it worse. Look out the window, pick a star, and just focus on that. I'll give it a try. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. It won't be easy for Jara to step in at the 11th hour like this. But if she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. Starbase on the very edge of Federation space. Long way from home now. Uh, Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. So, there's that. Really? 
That's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough. But you know, I set my mind to it and it paid off. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You you finished in what? Like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> now I'm really. It, it's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I I didn't realize before. I I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground, so to speak. The pleasure is mine, Ensign. Paul Calloway. Good to meet you. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Good day, Commander. If I remember my briefing, Commander Ermont is a Bolian, so I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Are you all right? Yeah, I I'm just... Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Oh, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. Thanks so much, Commander. Starbase 128 has four docks. I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. Excuse me. Salute's getting a new first officer. Someone from the crew got promoted? No, get this. They're from a different ship. Oof. Wonder how the crew feel about that. It makes them look desperate. Is their crew that bad? Yeah, not a good look. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydak. I'm Commander Jan Ermott, Operations Officer on the Resolute. Commander? I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It takes more than a little turbulence to rattle me. I'm sure that's the case. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. The USS Resolute. 
She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but it was more than she could handle. It cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's what it means to be a crew. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. There are some things you can't forget. It's been six months. What's the attitude among the crew now? Unsettled. But I hope that a new mission will help them move forward. If not, move on. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the Captain announced you would be the new First Officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake. That he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly at first. Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. Thank you. Always good to have a sense for what you're walking into. I just thought you ought to know. I appreciate it. Starfleet has assigned us a high-priority mission to the Hotari region. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. 